Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start today's episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. On that note, Tanner, hidden with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Norrell Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down and check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Norrell Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Norrell Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Norrell Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. And we are back. Big shout out to Naral Toyota, our title sponsor for today's episode. We really do appreciate your ongoing support. As everybody at home knows, I do not introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Yeah, um, I'm, my name's Sandy. I'm the new community resource manager at Kids Sport Wood Buffalo. Okay. Um, I've been a nonprofit for about almost five-ish years, so I'm pretty familiar. Uh, like I just told you, I was in the lawyer world, but mm -hmm. it just wasn't for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that type of person. I feel like you're a different type of person and you stick with it, but I, I like, I'm a bubbly people pleaser person. Yeah. So I had to get out. <laughs> no, no doubt. And so in the law profession, like what were you doing? For Legal the... assistant. Oh, yeah. so you're doing all of the, the work. The backbones. Yeah. yeah. That's a very busy job yeah. to say the least. Yeah. Okay. So you've transitioned into not for profit. You're working with what agency again? Kids Sport. Kids Buffalo. Sport. Yeah. So I know a little bit about Kids Sport, mm -hmm. but can you elaborate in regards to like what that organizations all about yeah we provide funding for kids to play sports within the community we're trying to outsource to like little areas outside of what buffalo too so um up to six hundred dollars a year is what we're doing okay. and i mean that's a big portion i have three boys and mm. sports are crazy expensive yeah um so when people reach out to me even at like um when i have a table set up somewhere and they're they're blown away that we would pay registration fees mm -hmm. and a lot of people get us mixed up but jumps jumpstart the canadian tire oh, okay but we are local yeah like all of our funding is here is local mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um yeah in 2023 we did 338 kids in sports that's awesome um it valued out to be about 125k mm -hmm. um this year we've already surpassed 400 so wow the need is definitely there yeah. uh, which unfortunately means that the funding needs to be there for us as well mm. um so and i'm sure all the nonprofits now are just in the same position but the funding is lacking and that's just the reality of it yeah um but yeah we are surpassing 400 kids this year Wow. So in regards to funding, like how do you guys get funding? Is this like something, well, I don't want to say obviously, but grants, mm -hmm. donations from the general population, yep. like how do you guys get the necessary funds to like get all these kids into sports? Uh, we have two main events that we do. It's the Fam Expo that happens usually in May, but it was postponed for the fires and Mother Nature and mm -hmm. lovely things. But uh, our pizza pig is coming up. Oh, so that's our other main event. And that last year happened at the um, alley. Yeah, so downtown. this year it's How happening at the Burr House, Canadian Burr House. Okay. They partnered with us this year. Nice. And yeah. when is that taking place? October 26th. Okay. From 6 till... 10 30 ish whenever the party dies out but okay yeah. and how does that work like how do you raise money from that event so this is my first year planning it mm -hmm. um darcy campbell is the executive director now um she pretty much said here's your baby <laughs> yeah. with it. and um uh we're gonna have just some pizza raffle boxes that people get to like bid on and inside there's going to be gift cards for all over town okay prizes um there's going to potentially be a pizza eating contest okay yeah last year i saw it i'd like uh jeff bachelor from Ford yeah. was there i think he uh, might be mark in hardigan from coldwell yeah. was there yeah i don't know i forget who won there was like six of them who were up there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So and then yeah, we're okay. still we're still on the hunt 
Okay. Hunt. Yeah. For volunteers, <laughs> like, maybe we'll see. If you yeah. like your pizza, if you're not gluten free, my yeah. God, please don't. Yeah. Celiac. Um, but yeah, we're still looking out for pizza eating contest contestants. Yeah. I should say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, last year they got about ten plus profit from it. So. It's been good. Nice. It's been a good hit, yeah. And that's awesome. And it's an 18 plus event. Yeah, because it's at the brew house mm -hmm. too, right? Yeah. So now, outside of those two events and like funding, mm -hmm. like if somebody just wanted to like donate money, is there like a way for like somebody who's watching right now to be like, oh, I'm from Fort McMurray, I would donate for that. Mm -hmm. Is there an easy way for them to get your funds? Absolutely. So I, I we did golf tournaments this summer, mm -hmm. and I met just like these random amazing human beings. Um, and they didn't know what kid sport was. They're like, oh, what is this? I've never heard of this. Mm -hmm. um, and once they heard that it pays for registration fees for kids, they were like, oh my God, how do I support? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so it's, it's on our Facebook. If you go on our Facebook, Facebook uh, Kids Sport with Buffalo info, our website is going to be there, mm -hmm. uh, linked, and it's super simple. Um, it'll direct you as soon as you go to the website. Okay. And yeah. then people can just donate money yeah. at any point in time. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And our money stays in Wood Buffalo. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people do ask, like, I'm not going to donate if it doesn't stay in our community. Yeah. And it 100% does. Yeah. I know a few people who've utilized mm -hmm. your uh, your program actually over yeah. the years. I, like I said at the beginning, I don't know much about it. Yeah. But I know a few families that have come from different countries mm -hmm. um, that have been able to utilize it. And like my wife, she's uh, the vice principal up at Father Bo. Yeah. And so every once in a while, like, I'll get earshot of somebody talking about your program up mm -hmm. there. Well, so, I've actually dug in a lot to the Catholics or the public school board. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be meeting and we'll be getting more yeah. outreach there too cool. um, the newcomers we definitely reached out to them too and just we want to partner more with them too because it's hard it's yeah and we're just here to help so that's right maybe even like the people I know about it are new immigrants so yeah. maybe even like multicultural association because oh, yeah. they have like a lot of like obviously people that come in mm -hmm. first time to Fort McMurray in Canada and they're like how do I do this so, yeah oh yeah so yourself personally you've been in Fort McMurray for how long 2018, 2019. Okay. So where did you come from originally? Drayton Valley, just outside of Edmonton. All right. And what brings you to Fort McMurray? Um, I needed a change. I was a single mom with two boys. Um, I was in the vulnerable state of needing assistance, and mm. I get it. It's hard to ask for help, but it, it's here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I came and I just needed a change, and it was the best decision ever. <laughs> nice. Did obviously in Alberta you hear about Fort McMurray? Yeah. So that's like, my number one question people ask. Yeah. Is, what in the world made you move there? Yeah. And I think you just need to come here and see it. Yeah. And just live it out for a year, and you'll be like, okay, yeah, I get it. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love Fort McMurray. I just literally, I haven't been home in eight weeks. I've been on the road like yeah. it's been wild and I came back for like three or four days and I'd leave again mm -hmm. and it was something that me and the producer Tanner were chatting about and I'm just like man I need to go home I need to go home yeah. but like when I was here because I've been here for three days in a row right now yeah so I was just like man it's really nice here because like I was in America I went to the like I was in Ontario oh, wow. I was everywhere yeah and so I got to like hang out and when I go to places it's not just for like one or two days I'm there for like a week or something yeah. so I really try to get involved in mm -hmm. the community where I'm at just to see what's up yeah Fort that's McMurray pretty cool too, so chill yeah. so nice being back like mm -hmm. I enjoyed my travels Toronto America Calgary Edmonton beautiful yeah but like it's a different vibe it to is Fort McMurray. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people I think have the um bad taste in their mouth I should say about the old Fort McMurray. Yeah, when it was like a boom town and it was wild you and crazy. You couldn't walk the street because it was so busy. Yeah, but yeah, But then yeah. now it's just so family oriented, I feel. Mm -hmm. And the resources here for kids is crazy. I would never go back to a small town where they... Yeah. It's... It, I don't know. Yeah. I'm a lifer. Even a major center like Edmonton or Calgary, my siblings lived in both. Mm -hmm. And like I would go there and I have a nine-year-old and if you needed to go to a walk-in clinic, if you needed something, yeah. like... You couldn't get it no. as quickly as you could get it here. Yeah. My sister was up here with her little daughter, and she just was a little bit sick. I'm like, oh, I'll just take her to the walking clinic. Yeah. And Alicia went and then came back in like... Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Yeah. And she was just like, what the heck? And yeah. I was like, what's going on? She's like, I'm back. I'm yeah. Like, I'm, I can see. Description in hand. <laughs> and she's like, it's so quick here. I'm like, yeah, Fort McMurray's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of positive benefits. Definitely, yeah. For sure. So how old are your children? I have three. So 10, 8, 
and one and a half. What? Yeah. <laughs> Ten, eight, and one and a half. Yeah. Okay. So how are the older children dealing with the new addition? Amazing. Yeah. Um, it's really cool to see your older kids become brothers again. Okay. Um, so all boys? All boys. Okay. I'm okay. enough girl, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. Like, there were times when I was going through it, like, postpartum, and my oldest, getting ready for school, he'd be like, I can feed him, Mom. Yeah. So if you're second-guessing having that third kid, have him. Yeah. Her, him, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're a good help. Cool. Yeah. And so your kids in grade, like, mine's nine, you have an eight, you have a ten. So they're full-time school. Yeah. They're, like, mm -hmm. in it. Five, grade five and three this year. What are they getting into as they're, like, growing up and you're seeing their personalities? Yeah, I've tried. My, they're really tall. Okay. So I've tried to, like, push the basketball thing. I'm like, maybe we have a... <laughs> yeah. But it's not for them. Okay. Um, we've done soccer. We've done everything. Except hockey. I can't do hockey. Oh. And the and time, time, honestly. I know. Who's waking up that early? Oh my gosh. I'm not doing it. I don't have the time. I can't do it. And yeah. God bless all you hockey moms. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Like, I don't know. And some of them get up for practice before school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God so, forbid your child is talented at the sport. Then, yeah. Like you said, you got to wake up early. You got to hang out in the hockey arena. And you then gotta driving. drive. Yeah. Oh, it's it's nuts. Yeah. It's one of those sports where like we let Keegan try out a whole bunch of stuff when That's he was a kid. Me. But that was one sport where I'm like, you're not trying it. No, like, you I'm can, the same way. <laughs> you can play floor hockey. Like, yeah, that's it's what we Canada. Did. We'll give you a stick. Yeah. We taught him how to skate. He knows how to skate. And the basics. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just like, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm the same way. Thank <laughs> you for validating. Yeah. <laughs> big ups to all the parents who do yeah. it. Like, yeah. big shout out. It's a lot of time. It's an investment. It's money. Yeah. And if you have the passion and your child wants to, like, yo, mm. go ham. Yep. I ain't doing it. Nope. <laughs> this year we're trying jujitsu. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They wanted, they both agreed they were going to go full force sport. So I'm like, let's do it. Yeah. And just getting them to go in, even if they don't like stick with it. Like yep. we've got Keegan to do all different types of things from mm -hmm. soccer to gymnastics, to basketball, to chess, to like dancing, like everything. Mm -hmm. And then like after a while, he, we could tell like, oh, he has talent. He likes this one. This. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Keep going in that one. Yeah. But it's not a bad thing for him to, like I find Keegan to have experience and say, oh, I know how to do that. Or I have like the fundamental knowledge on yeah. what to do. He's playing cricket with my grandma or oh, his cool. grandma, my mom, yeah. like three days ago. And he was just like, dad, you know how to play cricket? I'm like, yeah, it's a cool sport. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah, I think I'd like to like watch that and learn a little bit more. So yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. That doesn't mean I have to enter him into no. cricket, yeah. but he gets the overall concept. Exactly, so. and it's like you and I, like, we know how to kick a ball, we know how to kick a soccer ball. Yeah. Because we did it when you were younger. That's right, like, that's right. We so know how to pick up a hockey stick. Yeah. And it's good for them. I think we live in a world now where it's like, as sad as it is, here's a video game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to get more kids away from that and to out playing a sport is so important. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, anyways. Yeah. And, like, don't get me wrong, there's times when my kids sit there and play a video game all day. Mm hmm But I think the world just needs more play. Yeah, and that's where the sports come into play. Yeah. And it helps with their, like, social skills. 100%. Because, like, at school you have your set group of friends. Yeah. And so you kind of know the hierarchy of what's going on in school. Yeah. That being said, when you go to sports, it's a whole new group. Mm -hmm. And so you have no choice but to be like, all right. Let me make some friends. Let's figure this out. And yeah. when you're on a team, it brings you together. Like, you have no choice but to communicate. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's a sweet life skill just it in is, general. Yeah. And, like, with sports, it's, like, a safe environment in regards to when I send, like, Keegan and his friends to the park. Well, kids okay. don't have to be friends necessarily. No. They got to figure it out, which yeah. I'm all for. But when they're on a team, all of a sudden you got 12 or 10 of them being like, yo, this is your team. You have a set goal. We're mm -hmm. trying to win work together and you have an adult like a coach exactly, yeah. there to like monitor so yeah sports are some of my core yeah. memories are from like sports team like what's one of them let's hear them volleyball okay um like even going out of town staying in hotels like those are core memories that you have with your team mm -hmm. so it's really good for i think everyone should just have the opportunity we're talking high school volleyball mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and so what was your team name oh fort mcmurray or no uh, Drayton Valley, Mustangs. Okay. And how did you do? I was power. Okay, that yeah. was the position. Mm -hmm. And, like, 
I only know Fort McMurray. Um, I played sports here, and we yeah. would leave town every once in a while. Uh, we were the drivers, yeah. Yeah, Drain Valley's small, yeah? It is small, but sometimes they drive to us, but we'd, we would be the driving ones, yeah. And so where would you go play? Edmonton, Evansburg, Whiteport. Oh. So that's like our radius. Did you stand a chance or did you just get obliterated? Both. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's one of those things in Fort McMurray, like we had competition because there was different schools. Yeah. Like the Catholic schools, I think at the time was eight or 12 of them. Mm -hmm. So you could play against people. Yeah. That being said, it was a still a small community. And I know when we went out of town, especially to Edmonton, I like, I don't care how good we were, like just the talent base in a major yeah. center that has that kind of population. Mm -hmm. We would just you made get a it. Roll over, <laughs> but it was good. Like yeah. I didn't mind. Like I was just like, hey, these kids are better, and it like forced me to play my sports yeah. a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So it's not a bad thing to get obliterated. No, it, it's a good life lesson to be like, you know what, have fun. I'm a sore loser too, though. Are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I used to be a real sore loser too. I've been working on it. Yeah. Yeah. So in regards to kid sport, though, like mm -hmm. outside of the website and your Facebook page. Yes. If people wanted to get in contact with you, is there like a physical location they go to or is it all done online? No, we are at the Shell Place, so it's like... Oh, yeah, sweet, in, in the United Red Bull West. Station. Yeah. Oh, how nice is that? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, I didn't know that they even had an office before working here. Right. I didn't, I didn't know much about kids' sport, I'll be honest. Yeah, that's fair enough. I heard about it, mm -hmm. didn't know much about it. Yeah. And I think that's a, like a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're at Red Pole Place, uh, Shell Place, sorry. Yeah. Uh, in the United Way section. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So people can physically get in contact with you. They can get in contact digitally yeah. um, and or on the phone. Mm -hmm. And then to give you money, your fundraisers, as well as the website link. Yeah, and we even do like one-offs. So the Huskies soccer, uh, they just did a soccer team or soccer match against the emergency services. Okay. So we were there. They were, um, we, we were the recipients for the game. Um, all the funds went to us. So we just did like a little barbecue. We hosted a little barbecue and yeah, the Huskies chose us to go. That's come. cool. Yeah, so even like little one-off things like that, yeah. we're game for. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the participants, like kids and families who want to get involved, mm -hmm. like you said, there's a the cap of money mm -hmm. that they can get. But like, let's say a family has like three children. Do all three children potentially yeah. access the oh, same yeah. amount of funds? Oh, that's really so cool. So it, it goes based off of your um, how much money you make and how many kids are in your family, how right. many working adults are in your household. Mm -hmm. So there is like a threshold, but it's very friendly. Yeah, that's a good word. Um, yeah, and a lot of people don't think it's as accessible for them. Yeah, but just reach out, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so, then the funds, do they go directly to the adult who's paying then for the registration or do you contact the organization like maybe Trailblazers Basketball, for example, yeah. and say, here's the fee, this is the kid? Yeah. That's exactly. Oh, I that's mean, perfect. As much as we want to trust every human being, there yeah. are ones that wreck it and yeah. that's just the way life goes. Yeah. But So yeah, they would apply online. There's an application form on the website. Um, apply online. And then Darcy will be in touch with you, and then we write a check for nice. Northern Trailblazers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's awesome because, yeah. like, I've tried to register my kid. Trust me, it's not easy, like, no. the registration. So if you're willing to, like, do that administration component for yes. the adults. And, um. Yeah, that's all right. I lose my train of thought all the time. <laughs> no worries. Okay. No, we're not going to cut anything. We don't edit it no. at all. Trust me. But, like,. <laughs> You're not the first person to lose your train of thought. Like usually, it's me. Where are but like, going? yeah, no, like the registration is is key, especially because the three families that I know who have utilized your services mm -hmm. don't speak English very well. Yeah, like they just don't. Um, and so that in itself of you guys going through the registration process would be a tremendous help to them mm -hmm. because like when they're calling up an organization and trying to get their kids registered. If you can't communicate, well, yeah. here we are. I'm not 100% so cool. sure on it because there yeah. is some like conflict between. Yeah. But we are here to help. That's yeah, all. that's right. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, Drayton Valley, what was it like living there? I don't know it. I've never been there. Going there, I was about five, five turning six. Just going, we came from Newfoundland. Oh, okay. So I was, I had an accent. I had a slur. I had, going into kindergarten, my mom was called to the office. She yeah. said, 
she can't speak English. We yeah. have to put her in speech therapy. Yeah. Um, but my mom is like, heck no. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's how we talk back there. Um, it was a town of maybe 5,000. Okay. Now it's about 20. Oh, it's grown a lot. Mm -hmm. What town? Drain Valley. Oh, I thought you meant East Coast oh. when you left. Okay. So yeah, Drain Valley's grown it's dramatically. It's definitely grown and okay. it's plummeted again. Okay. Yeah. Ups and downs. Mm -hmm. That's still a big growth, five to twenty. Yeah. Even if it dipped, it didn't dip back down to five. I have to assume. No, it's definitely dipped and stayed dipped because yeah. um, it's more retirement now. It's more like mm. you're good. Just you're good there. Yeah. Um, and is your family still there? They are. Nice. They have five plus acres. They have a big old garage. We go there. That's my vacation time. That's awesome. <laughs> the boys can jump on their quads and go. Oh, the boys, yeah. Yeah. But Fort McMurray, that's home for you now. Yeah. I. I when Sunday comes to roll around to come home, I'm like, okay, let's get yeah. the road. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, listen, I know we're out of time now, but before I cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. Um, I encourage you guys, if you need help, to please reach out to Kids Sport Wood Buffalo on Facebook. We are there to help. Um, I know you can feel very vulnerable, but that's why we're here. I know firsthand. There we go. Awesome. Well, Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo, the rest of the world. That's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. From the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for tuning in. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Neural Toyota, as well as Carrie from Patchouli Rose and the beautiful people at Coldwell Banker. We really do appreciate your ongoing support. Other than that, I hope everybody at home is having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I just died at this. It's another Max City Morning Show done. Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. <laughs>